Hi, my name is PK Gulati. I'm the founder of The Assembly. If you're here, you're probably watching an assembly workshop. We do these workshops every week, and these are prepared by the assembly team in Dubai. These workshops cover ideas from data sciences, hardware design, automation, robotics, drones, and all the other exponential technologies that can, you can think about. The idea is for us to learn more than what curriculum teaches us. And we are trying to bring people to start working with their own hands with these technologies which have the capacity of changing the world. So welcome to this workshop and learn more about new wonders what you can build. Hi guys, my name is Daifa Intias and welcome back to another workshop. Today, we are going to make a smart blind stick device. With the use of an ultrasonic sensor, we are going to sense any obstacles from a distance and by buzzing the buzzer to warn the visual impaired individuals about the obstacles. Let me give you an introduction about the assembly. The assembly is a smart lab established back in December 2014 based out of N5. We have done over 300 free workshops. Assembly brings to you three types of workshop. Hack workshop, which includes embedded system, IoT and hardware. Then we have code workshop, which includes software projects with APIs and framework. Then we have our third type of workshop, which is data science, which includes advanced topic related to AI and machine learning. Our target audience are the individuals who are here to learn and try new things. You can be a student, professional, and even an entrepreneur. We focus on smart technology and practical application. You can visit our forum at members.theassembly.ae. You can even find us on social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. So, let's start with today's workshop. Before we start, let's go through the overview. We'll have introduction to our device, components required, connections, the software required along with the code, and at the end, we'll even go through a working model demo. Introduction. The device that we'll be making today wants visually impaired individual with ultrasonic sensor it sends any obstacles from a distance by buzzing a buzzer. Why is it required? Technology can indeed neutralize human disability. With a simple development board and sensors to build an ultrasonic blind walking stick with using Arduino that can perform more than just a stick. The components we'll be requiring is Arduino, R, Arduino Uno, ultrasonic sensor, buzzer, some jumper wires and an LED diode. This is a simple wiring diagram which we'll be using later on. The software which required for today's workshop is Arduino Software IDE. It makes it easy to write and upload our code. Some fact, Arduino is a program with C and C++ dialect. Ultrasonic sensor as name suggests measures the distance from ultrasonic waves. So now let's start assembling. So these are the components which is required for our today's workshop. We have Arduino Uno, we have ultrasonic sensor, buzzer, LED and some jumper wires. So let's start with the connection. So we'll be using our jumper wires female side to connect it with our uh, ultrasonic sensor. So you can just connect all of them at once. Once this all are connected, uh, the ground pin will be directly going to our Arduino's ground pin as well. So let's connect that. Then we have our VCC, which is the voltage, so which will be uh, inserted into the voltage. So we have given here five volt. Uh, then the echo pin would go to the number pin number ten in our uh, Arduino Uno as well. Then the last pin which we have is the trick pin. So the trick pin should be inserted in the pin number 9. So now that we are done with our uh, ultrasonic sensor connected to the board, we'll go to our buzzer. So for the buzzer we have two terminals. So one of the terminals will go to the, the pin number 11 and the other, and the other uh, terminal will go to another ground which is weighted here. 
we have done we have our uh, diode so the diode goes in our arduino uno as well so it goes to the ground and the terminal number three so that's it we are done with our connection of our components so now let's start with the coding. So today the software which we'll be using is Arduino software IDE. So as you have seen in our components, we have one ultrasonic sensor, one buzzer and one LED diode. We'll start by declaring our pins. So for ultrasonic, we have two pins. So we can declare them as first. Const and trick pin is number one pin. The number is nine. And for the second pin, the echo pen has the pen number as 10. Now we will declare our constants for the buzzer. Okay, okay, wait, the buzzer is 11. And for the LED pen as well. Now we are done declaring our pens, we will move on to declare our variables. So the first variable which we will be declaring is our duration. Duration is the time period where the buzzer has to ring for how long. So using the data type as long, we will declare duration. Then we will use another variable which is distance, which is to measure the distance between the object and the ultrasonic sensor. Another variable which we will be using is the safety distance which should be later on used inside our loop. Now move on to our main setup. Uh, we'll be declaring the pins which is as an output and input. We'll start with our ultrasonic sensor. So the trick pin which we'll be declaring would be um, an output. We'll just write output. The second pin, which is echo pin, would be taken as input, so declaring that as input. Now for the buzzer, as the buzzer rings, so it's an output, so we can declare that as an output as well. Uh, as well as the LED lights up, so that would be... Uh, now we have to start the monitor. So to have a monitor, we need to start with the serial communication. So set that as serial dot begin. Uh, here I'm setting as 9600. So whenever you open your serial monitor, please to check which um, which number you have been setting your code to. Now to move on to our loop, we will first of all clear our uh, pen. So we'll start with clearing the trick pen. So digital right is the command which is used to clear it. Then keep it on low and set the delay microseconds to maybe two. Keep it minimum as possible. Now we need to set our trick pins on high and we'll keep it for 10 seconds. Uh, we'll delay it uh, so now to read the echo pen the sounds which travels is returned in microseconds so the duration however we're gonna set is using the pulse in keep the echo pen on the highest so now to calculate the distance we'll be using the formula duration into the speed of the sound so distance duration into 0 0.03 divided by 2 now print the uh, distance on the serial monitor we'll be using the safety distance which we have declared before on now that we have done now we'll move on to our uh, the loop for uh, for the distance to ring so we'll keep we'll use the if loop to decide if the centimeters of the distance through which the buzzer should give a warning so we will print if the distance is below 50 centimeter 
below 50. Uh, then we'll be in the serial monitor we'll be displaying using the serial dot print the distance at which the object is identified the obstacle and serial so along with the once the distance has been um, shown in your serial plotter we'll be using centimeter i will give a warning saying that object alarm or object alert whatever you want to give and then now we have to make your led uh, light up so we'll be using the digital right command led pen on high so it lights up and at the same time we need the buzzer to ring so we'll be setting our digital buzzer at high as well and uh, for the delay which will be using the microseconds will be 100 so after 100 cent uh, minutes microseconds it will be passing so 100 uh, so now as is, this is a loop so we as soon as an obstacle is coming nearby it's on high but as soon as you are getting away from an obstacle the buzzer starts uh, buzzing on the low medium as well as the LED light so the second use a for loop for it so buzzer on low so when the object is not under a distance of 50 cm the buzzer and the LED will be off and here we'll just use a for loop to identify the distance we'll uh, declare a variable in, inside the for loop itself and then the distance uh, so here the last uh, we have used the buzzer we have kept the buzzer on low as well as the LED pin at low so as your move, the sensor is moving away from the obstacle as soon as it passes more than 50 cent uh, centimeter it will be like 60 the buzzer stops as well as the led uh, light stops loading so that's our coding now we'll connect our uh, setup and we'll try to run it so now that we are done with our coding let's just go through it first so there's a mistake here instead of duration i have declared it as during so let's change that Look for any other mistakes which you could have occurred. Let's drop it in. So, right. so now let's upload the code and just check. I've connected my audio Uno to my device, so it's uploading and it's done uploading. So let's see a demo of it as well. Now that we are done with the connection and uploading the code to our Arduino. We have attached the setup on a case and I'm giving the power to this uh, to this device using a power bank but you could use a 9 volt battery as well. So now let's see does it detect any obstacle or not. So now we are moving towards any obstacle. So as you can see that it detects an object in front of it and it's beeping so you have move, as I move along near to the object it beeps even louder and it's top one it doesn't detect anything so that's how this device works thank you thank you for watching our video if you like the video please do share and subscribe to our channel for more contents stay connected to us through our social media we are on Instagram Twitter and Facebook thank you